Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're going to be playing Forest Ranger Services. It's a game where we'll be trying to figure out the disappearances of hikers in the forest or mountains. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Forest Ranger Services series are based on real life events and personal accounts of hikers. The narrative has been altered for entertainment purposes. There are thousands of misreports filed each year in the U.S. National Parks. Okay. Forest Ranger Services, the pilot. You are one of the aspiring report looking into the missing hiker cases. It was time to get serious about your career. I don't know why I have this up. You applied for a job as a forest ranger to get a first-hand account of the disappearances. Alright, so here we are. Um... So we just start... So we just start off in the woods, like... <laughs> real... Not, uh... No reason... Why do we have to go at night? Why didn't we just go during the day? Why, did we just want to make it more creepy? Is that all it was? Talking about... Uh, is that pig? Talking about natural forces, man. Me, personally, if I go hiking, I've been, I, well, I've been camping and hiking a couple of times, man. Me, personally, I'm not... I'm not going hiking off the trail. Oh my gosh. Static. Hey there, uh, night caller. You're locked in with station five, where the news takes a walk on the wild side. I'm your man in the shadows, Mike Stone. Not Mike Stone. Have you guys heard about these missing hikers? All over our national parks, this isn't something you hear about anymore. But check out the stats. According to the latest data from the National Park Service, around 1,000 to 2,500 people go missing in national parks and forests each year. That's wild. I hope there's a real Death stat. Valley, Yellowstone, Cascades, uh, all kinds of reports of missing people. The numbers are massive. Okay, I've got a few examples here. One hiker found after days in the woods. Couldn't recall basic details about their hike how they got lost. Now, folks, these aren't... I, I about to say, I didn't even know if I was supposed to go here or not. I just automatically assumed I'm supposed to hop out to the gas station. Uh, so what happened with the... When I was walking around with the camera, what happened with that? Or was that the dude who... Or was that out of the pilot? I don't know. Nice little diner. What is he doing? Evening. Oh. What can I get you? Oh, okay. Just grabbing some supplies. I'm a new ranger in the area. Another one, huh? You guys are a dime a dozen. <laughs> this guy talk to me like that. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? There's a new guy here just about every other month. Some people just don't last out in the woods. It can get a bit creepy, you know. I don't think creepy I've met, man, is you. To be completely honest with you. So we do we need to grab anything or we just walked in to talk? And I know but he's been in the vending, the vending machine the whole time. I know something's had to drop. Did we just walk in here for nothing? I guess so. Um let's go back out and get in the car, I guess. Which vehicle is mine? I guess I'm not driving. Uh, I'm not driving a smooth black when I'm driving the hoopty over here. Here's what it is, and then I end up over here. Static. Back on the road we go. Search and rescue teams highlight a puzzling trend. A significant number of those who are located after going missing in the wild often exhibit strange mental conditions. We're talking uh -huh. about disorientation, uh, memory loss. And in some cases, ha, bizarre behavior uh, that leaves rescuers and medical Baffled. But some of these I, I need something to pop off. I need buddy to pop out in the middle of the road so we can run them over or something. Uh, forest workers, Another gas station? 
just about five is there another gas station or am i in a loop right now um, they just go missing without any trace they search for these people for weeks i know i took a ride Oh, yeah, this is getting creepy. New Ranger, huh? They come and go like the wind. Whispering pines play tricks, you'll find. Now he's talking to me in riddles. I think I'm lost. Can you help me without some duration? Come on, man. Lost a hiker recently. Vanished in the woods. Swallowed whole. Happens more than you'd ever be told. I don't need, I don't Been need the riddles, while, the rhymes. Seen the faces change. Rangers like you, their stories rearrange. Something in these woods, something strange. Good luck, Ranger. The forest's a maze. It knows who stays and who decays. All right. What we got right here? A suitcase with documents about missing people. <laughs> And we just gotta ignore that it's just sitting out here? Who is this guy? Looks like you're looks like something you're looking for is missing. What is that even supposed to mean? I don't know. Every, why is everybody talking in riddles all of a sudden? Is this supposed to be the same gas station or is this supposed to be like another one? Nah, it's, it's obviously gotta be the same one. But like I said, what's the point of everybody talking in riddles, bruh? Just you know, tell me straight up. My head are getting louder. And tonight, they're whispering your name. Oh my god! <laughs> what the freak? There's this hiker. When the search and rescue teams finally found him, it wasn't me. That scared the crap out of me. Is it that I was reading what Buddy was saying? <laughs> he just jumped out. I got goosebumps right now. Oh my gosh! Wow! This sucker. He ate his own finger. Must have been out of his mind. It's your turn. You will never get out of these walls. Oh, this is creepy as freak, bro. Run, bro! I'll. <laughs> Through the gas station. Like, I'm not playing anymore. Like, what is this game that scared the freak out of me, bro? That's not even funny. And homies being creepy. It's a whole new gas station, man. Look, it's not even set up the same way. I guess we're talking to Shadows deep where trees entwine. A mystery unfolds. A tale malign. Through tangled woods. Where whispers soar, lost are hikers, seen no more. All Answer right. the call on the forest breeze. Each ring, a step closer, unravel the twine. Find the hikers lost, where the shadows align. Well, are you gonna pick it up? Are you gonna pick it up? Oh, was that there when we walked in? No, it couldn't have been, because there's doors right here. I guess we'll talk, bruh. Hello. Who is this? Wake up. Oh, nah. Hey, yo, the vibe. Um, anyone there? For the vibe change? Nah. And why does this look so pretty? My fault. Power sex. Do you read me? Over. So, how was your first night? That's my dad. Um, shouldn't tell you creepy stories on your first day. Actually, no. One of the guys overheard it down at the station. Pretty weird, right? Forest Ranger Services, the pilot. I was walking my dog buddy in the forest when he had a sad explorer path. I didn't know much. 
But he likes to run around on his own. I lost track of him. He usually comes back in about an, half an hour or so. Suddenly, I had this urge to look at something on the ground. As I crashed down to look at the ground just out of the corner of my eye, I saw a man in the red sweater standing in front of me. When I looked up at his face to say hello or something like that, he disappeared. I freak out a little bit quickly and start making my way back home on the same path I got there. And I, I stop at Lou Rampa Buddy as I turn back to continue home. Right in front of me, there was a severed deer leg neatly placed on the forest path. Oh, hey. I have not been down that path since. I wasn't even going back in the forest, my boy. I'm not even going to lie to you. Okay. <laughs> At first, I was like, uh, but then, like, right there with that jump scare, it got creepy, right? I was like, something needs to pop off, and then something started popping off, right? And then the switch up, that is, I like the art style and everything. That's definitely something that uh, the people who made this game, the devs, y'all need to go ahead and follow something with that, man, because that, that, that art style and everything, that's definitely a vibe, and I like that a lot. But uh, all together, the game wasn't too bad, man. I enjoyed it. Um, had a slow start, but right there at the end, I liked it. I liked the ending. It was good. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. If you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.